it's running with it now it took him a second that was a little further out oh gosh oh goodness big fish light tackle oh yeah Hello Beach Bums and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Matthew Isbell and this is my channel, Bama Beach Bum. I do a lot of surf fishing and today I want to talk about something that is really overlooked when it comes to surf fishing. A lot of people don't surf fish this way but it can be a ton of fun and a lot of the times this is really your best opportunity to tackle the surf and have a great time, put some fish in the cooler and show your family, your kids, whatever, show them a really good time fishing. So most of the fish that we target out here are anywhere from less than a pound up to like three four pounds like a lot of these fish now yes I understand there are big fish in the surf and big game opportunities I love targeting them as well but I would say a high percentage I don't want to throw a number out but a high percentage of the fish that you can catch out here are relatively small so when conditions allow, because a lot of times we have to use heavier surf gear just because of conditions. We have to get baits out further, so we got to use longer, heavier rods to throw heavier lead, or it may be really rough. It's starting to get rough today. The wind is really kicked up, and you may need something that can handle that heavy lead and handle those conditions. But on calmer days, it's really advantageous to use lighter gear. And something that I like to use that I've adopted is using steelhead rods. So in this video, I'm going to only be using my steelhead rods. I have three right now. One of them is a Star Aerial, which I don't even know that they make this rod anymore, but it's a steelhead rod. It's eight foot six. It's rated, the lure rating is a quarter of an ounce to three quarters of an ounce. So very, very light. Now I will throw one ounce to one and a half ounce leads, which is above the rating, which can be risky. You can break gear that way. So you have to be careful. You can't like really whip it. Um, but this style of fishing, most cases, you're fishing very close to the beach. Most of these fish are gonna be anywhere from 10 to 25 yards off of the sand. If you wanna learn more about reading the beach and finding these locations, I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but check out my Salt Strong Beach Fishing Mastery course. We go into depth on how to read the beach and be better suited when you walk out here so that you can see what's going on. Check that out. I've got a link in the description if you wanna get better at that. But this is just one of my steelhead setups and all of them are rigged up with a similar rig. I've got just a single drop what I call whiting rig. It's lighter tackle. It's only 10 pound fluoro or mono. Doesn't matter. I've, I've got mono on today with a size two, not two aught, but size two circle hook and just a bead. You can go no bead. You can go float, however you want to do it. But most of the time I use just a bead. I've got an orange and pink bead, whatever color you want to use, whatever you feel confident in. I like pink. I like orange. I like white. Those are pretty prominent colors out here in the surf but a smaller hook, single drop, closer to the bottom, because typically we're targeting these whiting or redfish, black drum, things like that that are, that are gonna be feeding on the bottom. And I have this attached, I tie my rigs, if you can see, probably can't really see that, but it's just like a 60 or 70 pound barrel swivel that I attach to my braid. And I do have a 2000 size pin battle two spinning reel with 10 pound braid on here. So very light, 2000 size reel, light action steelhead rod, eight foot six. So it's still got a little length to it so I can get a little bit of distance if I need it to get just a little bit further. But again, keep in mind, you're typically fishing close. And like I said, I've got three setups. The other two are identical. Uh, this is a Wright's McGill steelhead rod. It's a nine foot. I got this at Dick's. This was only 50 bucks, the rod itself. So not a bad deal. The lure rating on this one is three eighths of an ounce to three fourths of an ounce. So still again real light i will throw uh like i said those one to two ounce leads on this one i'll go up to two but you've got to be real careful you can break gear i have yet to do it i've used these rods for several years i've exceeded what their recommended lure rating is which i know is not the most ideal you just got to be careful you really can't just sling it but again we're fishing close so it's okay and same rig on here, like I said, we use the same kind of rig, an identical setup. 
Uh, this is again nine foot. I've got two of these with 2000 size pin battle twos, 10 pound braid. Everything's the same. And that's the three setups. So in this video, I'm going to only be using the light tackle setups and fishing close just to kind of show you what you can expect, what you can outline. So many people come out and all they do is cast far out and you think, oh, I just got to get far out there to catch fish. And that and that's the case a lot of times. Like if you're fishing for pompano, uh, a lot of times big redfish, things like that, you do have to cast a little bit further out or sharks, whatever but this is a different style a different approach that can be a ton of fun so let's get to fishing let's see what we can get into all right we got our first fish on that was up close <laughs> itty bitty baby white but at least it's not a crab we are dealing with some crabs this guy is tiny Woo, man he's itty bitty all right see you buddy all right first fish of the morning we at least got the skunk out of the way we're we're fishing up close you can expect to catch some whiting and sometimes they're pretty small this bait i had it maybe 10 feet off of the sand right here it's an uncomfortable cast like right there it, it's a spot that you're like man i shouldn't even be fishing right there but i've caught some crazy cool stuff that close Oh, what is going on here? Okay, go, go. There it goes, it's running with it now. Took him a second, that was a little further out. Oh gosh, oh goodness. Big fish, light tackle, oh yeah. Where'd you go? There you are. Swimming fast. Okay. Oh, I got my heart pumping. It's hard. It, you, <laughs> I don't even, I can't even talk. I love catching big fish on light tackle. This fish is swimming towards me right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going towards my other line. I think we're under. There we go. Underneath that. He hit it real slow. I think I have an idea what this could be. But I haven't caught one in a long time. So, oh gosh. This is what it's about right here, man. When you can use this light tackle and hook up on quality fish. Oh, it's so much fun. I mean, it just increases the fun level <laughs> so much. We got something on that end rod. That's uh, that close rod, probably a small whiting. So we're going to not be too concerned about that and just focus on what we've got going on right here. Good fish. Haven't seen it yet. Don't have confirmation on what we're dealing with. Oh, no, no, not what I not what i was thinking still fun but it's a stingray he sat down right here these are not fun to deal with with light tackle up next to the beach like i can't even move him i'm like putting everything on this rod right now Let's see if we can get him up a little bit higher Let's see if we can get this hook out. There we go. All right. Big fish, light tackle. It was fun for a minute. We'll get you back. See you, buddy. It's a miracle that we got that fish in on a steelhead setup. I thought it was going to be a black drum. The way that it hit and the way that it was fighting at first, I thought I was feeling head shakes. And it didn't sit down until it got right next to the beach. So still fun for a minute, but a hassle there at the end. All right, day two of light tackle surf fishing looks so far really good. We've got some nice chop. Hopefully there's not too much current in my light weights. I've got ounce and a half and one ounce pyramids, but we're just fishing up close, which this beach right here has the beach a little trough leading out to a bar that is maybe at max start 
at maybe 20 yards. And we're gonna be fishing that section of water, that 15 to 20 yards before the bar in that little deeper trough. But we've got a nice little chop so it's not flat calm, which is good. Like this wave action is perfect for this style of fishing. I found a good feature right here. I just walked up and down the beach until I found an area where it looks like water was flowing back out, which is gonna be very hard to see in the GoPro, but it looks like that water is going back out right here into that bigger water. So this is where I stopped. It looked a little bit more like a washing machine here, which means water is moving in several different directions. It's not just stagnant. So we've got a lot of good moving water. Fish love that. A little chop's good, but you can't have too much with this style of fishing because you're fishing so light. And we're just using little pieces of shrimp. That's it. Nothing. Oh, we already got fish on. Already. Fish on. I'm just getting set up. This feels like a pretty decent little fish. Might be a good whiting. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what is in store. Yes. Nice whiting. That's a keeper size right there. Very, very nice. Very quick, quick bite there. We're, we're just getting set up. That is perfection that's oh we got another fish this is what you want light tackle oh yeah we found a good spot look at that we can crush them this morning let's see let's see if you're still here there he is okay we found the spot <laughs> good movement of water i knew i knew this was looking fishy conditions oh my goodness this is the type of day that you can come to the beach and fill the cooler with these guys. I might keep some, but I want to see what's see what we've got size-wise. I want to see if we can get a little bigger. Nice. I mean, both of these were keeper. Both of them are over 10 inches, which is kind of my minimum. Both of those baits just got them out. Oh my gosh. This could be some of the most fun surf fishing if this bite stays. Hopefully that's not the only two fish hanging out in this pocket. I've got a good feeling that it's not. When I was running charters, this is what you hope for with these types of conditions. Keep people busy. You can put baits in addition to this if you're feeling really ambitious. You can put baits on the back side of the bar and where I'm fishing and go for those pompano and stuff. Pompano will run this shallow, but it's more likely that they're gonna be further out. But slot redfish, puppy drum, whiting, flounder, trout, all of that stuff is usually hanging out in this area i don't expect any trout today <laughs> flounder are around but they don't typically hit this my goodness this is amazing this is the bite that you are looking for out here on the surf with light tackle and anytime you find whiting like this and they're stacked oh this might be a little pomp i think we just found ourselves a little pompano how cool is that little different species I haven't had baits in the water five minutes and we've already caught a fish on each setup. Nice little pompano, not a keeper. We're gonna have to get this little guy back, but that's okay. See you, buddy. There he goes, perfect. This is why you fish up close. That's why you don't all, always just bomb your baits. You don't neglect this water. I know so far, nothing's been like gigantic. That's okay, we're fishing light tackle. It's a lot of fun catching these smaller species fish. But those two whiting were keepers. You can totally throw those in the cooler. You've got a meal. If you're out here with kids or you're just trying to keep people busy catching fish, uh, that was less than five minutes. We already, we already got three fish on the board. Two of them could have gone in the cooler. Uh, this is a lot of fun. And when you, when you locate a bite like this, when you locate an area that fish are hanging, like these whiting, generally you're gonna have an opportunity at redfish, black drum, they love these same areas. So you just keep fishing. You'll be popping off those whiting. You may get lucky and catch a keeper pompano, or you may pop off a nice redfish or a nice black drum. Super fun. We gotta get baits back out, keep fishing. I'm just gonna run two for now. We've got a really hot bite. So we'll see what we can do with two. I like having three just so I can kind of test out the different depths, different zones. There's fish. Come on, come on. I think he got on. I'm 
beautiful sunrise this morning. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There he is. Oh, he's thrashing on top. I think it's a whiting, but some, and sometimes they'll do that. That's when you know they're aggressive. Ooh, big tug here at the beach. Gosh, a lot of head shakes. Man, these fish are fired up. Another good keeper, good girth to this fish. This is our primary target fishing up close. Not a huge fish, but you saw how hard and aggressive he hit that and how much he boated over. Light tackle, delicious fish, a lot of fun. We got a big fish on, I was just, resetting the camera talking about getting opportunities at bigger fish and this hit i think it's a whiting but i think it might be the biggest of the day it laid that rod oh yeah oh yeah real nice whiting that's a stud i hate i didn't get that hit on camera because I was working on uh, resetting it. Man, these fish are just so strong. Check this guy out. Solid whiting, probably about 13 inches. Biggest of the day so far. Just a fun, stinking fish, man. I love it so much. Unfortunately, I, I had two baits out. That one had been sitting a minute, so I was like, you know what, I can reset my cameras. And uh, he decided to hit, but that's okay. Beautiful fish definitely going in the box it was a tough two days of surf fishing today was a lot of fun this is kind of what you lo are looking for on those bites when when you are fishing this way obviously i would have liked to have popped off a big fish one of those i call them kind of bonus fish but that doesn't always happen but you always have a really good opportunity when you are on a decent bite and you do find fish it, there's always a really good chance unfortunately i didn't get to fish as long as i wanted to this morning this wind has really picked up i don't know how much you can tell but the surf has gotten a lot rougher we've got more current it was getting very difficult to keep lines and baits in the water and once this wind kicked up the bite pretty much shut off i caught like one more whiting in the last 45 minutes so pretty much time to just pack it up and call it a day but the day before really tough fishing i did catch that big stingray which is not what we're going for but it gives you an idea even with this light tackle you can hand bigger fish I'm using 10 pound leader uh, 10 pound main line 2,000 size reel you know real light steelhead rods and I was still able to manage that stingray wasn't the most ideal not uh, with that type of fish you know stingrays are really tough because they suck down and that's the hardest part but that's a really good display that you can still deal with those bigger fish and handle them especially redfish black drum things like that we've caught big ones on these setups so if you do happen to hook one of those fish it's a lot of fun you get to have a blast and really feel the power of that fish and it's just it's just so much fun i love it it's really my favorite way to come out here and set rig surf fish if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching really appreciate you hanging around again you can check out my beach fishing mastery course if you want to learn more about how to do this stuff and up your game so that you can catch more fish put them in the cooler catch big fish get cool pictures whatever you're looking to do make sure you check it out but as always you stay bummy <laughs>